Uh, Cell Food Family got a um, you know, military uh, professional here. And, What's up, going on? All right, and it, recently there was a young lady, it's a video surfacing of a young lady that was murdered in the branch of the army, right? And social media just not getting it. A lot of stuff starting to resurface. And it's a, kind of around the same concept with uh, police brutality, uh, uh, stereotyping, grouping everybody together. But when I brought it up to this uh, brother right here, he had, uh, you know, some good enlightenment, from, not from a civilian perspective. So basically what I was coming at was um, not trying to bash, you know, the army and stuff, and my brothers and sisters in arms and stuff. But you got to understand, a lot of people look at it as a whole entire military t a military standpoint, and they see, they just blanket the whole situation as a military thing when it was an isolated incident inside of one particular branch. So when this kind of stuff happens, everybody points the finger at every single military member like, oh, that's wrong. In theory, yeah, we should be holding each other accountable. However, you don't want to get blamed for something else that somebody else did. So what makes you think me, as a Marine, want to you know, get blamed for something that happened in the Army? And I can tell you now that that was an accountability issue. It should have never happened. Mm -hmm. It should have never went down like that. I hate it for this young lady. You know, I know for us. What year was that? I couldn't even tell you. Mm -hmm. I know about the Was it recent? It happened, it happened not too long ago. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't matter when it happened. Okay. The fact that it happened. Right. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't be, there's nothing that changed. Mm -hmm. There's nothing changed. Accountability is accountability. Nothing right. has changed. No rules and regulations going, oh, yeah, we're going to do it like this because a new day and age. Nah, forget all that. The mm -hmm. fact that it happened is disgusting. Right. Plain and simple. Right. But every person should be held accountable for every single situation that happens to one thing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it shouldn't be... I don't all know. police officers are yeah, bad. Yeah, all police officers. All black men are criminals. All black folks are All white people are racist. Yeah, all military members are sexual predators. It shouldn't be like that. Right. However, but people get marked like, and, it, and it's sad. Right. It's difficult. You get, that, you get that mark in society when you talk about, like, what, like what mental health and, and people that not know how to uh, interpret to a certain degree yeah. or deal with uh, life stressors or trauma yeah. where there's uh, post-traumatic stress. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of that, a lot of that people suffer from those conditions. Yeah. And I'm not sure if the, the, the military is uh, tapping into uh, this type of treatment, but right now uh, for me as a holistic health coach, mm -hmm. I'm tapping into what I came to you about was. Today, I'll put you what? You offered me some, oh, you offered me some alkaline. Alkaline uh, herbs. Alkaline herbs. You know, man's uh, definitely got, you got a good thing going on here. Um, and it was kind of like, hey, Whoa. you know, check me out and stuff. I definitely will be checking them out and stuff. But Please. I just want the people out there to understand, like, listen, like, do your research, but also have an open mind mm -hmm. and look at things in a holistic way. Don't, oh, yeah. just, oh, yeah. don't just take things for the surface and just be like, oh, yeah, that's what it is. You can't change my mind or X, Y, Z. That makes you closed minded in right. a sense when you do that. You know, you got to. Be able to look at everything as the total a scope, the yes. totality. Yes, exactly. You yeah, know, what I'm saying? you don't want to circumstances. Just look at it like that. Like perspective has limitations based upon the individual's experiences yes, yes, and and, yes. The, and their knowledge. So you can't expect someone who've uh, been only seeing this for so long and things have been this way for so long to understand it. Um, it's like asking. Uh, you know, in some capacities, you see, you know, you see a lot of uh, blogs now where people are being very specific. It's not being discriminatory, but we're being very specific, whether uh, it's dealing with uh, s social, uh, so social uh, aspects of, uh, you know, uh, humanity, uh, legal perspectives. You got to be very specific to hit the right key points. And like I was saying earlier, when it comes down to the medicinal parts of it, it's the holistic herbs and eating and all that stuff that's uh, connected. What up, brother? Uh, like, like he said, it's a holistic approach to it's a holistic approach to taking care of yourself, making sure you're taking care of yourself on all levels, like mentally, spiritually, you know what I'm saying, emotionally, and health-wise.
Right. You know right. I mean, it's just, you know, just certain things you gotta do or whatever. I think this young brother got a lot of uh, good product here. He got a lot of good knowledge. Just talking to him for five minutes. You know, I'm finna head out to an event myself right, right, <laughs> right, right now. So I just okay. talk to him or whatever. And I appreciate and I, you, man. Yeah, no problem, man. But yeah, just people. Peace, family. And people what now? I say, hey, people just think about it before you. Before you start shaking stuff up, you got brothers in the service, brothers in law enforcement, and we hate what's going on and stuff out there. Just take an open mind, step back, and actually do your research for real and see what really happened. It's, it, it's individual efforts that make everybody else look bad in those organizations. One time for the coach. Peace.